At Ovidio, we've been producing documentaries and portraits, even sketches of unusual and colorful people from all walks of life. I owe personally one billion three hundred million. My interest was five million a week. I won uh, the Windsor Cup, uh -huh. and the Queen gave me a, a little cup like this, made of tin. <laughs> Uh, it cost it cost me a hundred thousand dollars to ship the horses over, you know, uh, and I thought the hell with that. John Kluge was one of the richest men in America, and had much to boast about. Yet after all these hours of filming, we found him to be a very humble and modest man. Here in Ha Long Bay, Vietnam, Roshi Joan Halifax teaches the Zen way to travel. I think Western people going on pilgrimage at this time, we're looking for something outside of ourselves that will point to the inside of ourselves, which is uncooked, as per Claude Levi-Strauss, which is raw, which is primitive. Which is From the Zen master, but in the same spirit, we move on to the master of American song, Mr. Tony it's Bennett. A, it's a, an album with every contemporary, famous contemporary artist like Barbra Streisand and Sting and, uh, and Elton John. And it's a celebration of my 80th birthday. Each artist is doing a duet with me. And uh, it just came off wonderful. Yeah, at a fundraiser for the New York homeless, organized by HELP, gathered two of New York's governors, as well as a mayor, and amongst many other distinguished guests, to listen to Christopher Reeve's moving statements. We used to invite distinguished speakers in. And to the east of New York City, on the flat and beautiful land of Long Island, we have recently begun to collect stories for a film we're making about the social history of the artists and writers who have lived here in the Hamptons. Keith Sonia. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, a, a sculptor, uh, known primarily for working in light, here, Peter Matheson and Edward Albee explain a few nuances and their attachments to this. Yeah, we used to say if you dropped a bomb on a cocktail party in Saga Park, you'd wipe out three quarters of the U.S. literary establishment, you know. <laughs> we, we all knew each other. There were, there were a lot of uh, visual artists and a lot of writers in, in Sag Harbor also. Flight officer Lee Hayes was one of the Tuskegee Airmen during World War II. And I scored 90, 94 and Quinn scored 97. <laughs> So we were in. Then we went back to our field and the celebration started. They gave us a party and everything else. Everybody was so proud of us. He is one of many individuals we are recording and archiving for a project about the original people of the East End. Stuart Vorpal may have been fishing the waters of Eastern Long Island all his life, but aside from his true love, his bride, turns out that catching and taming crows was a favorite thing to do. The last crow that I had, which I lost at the time of the 9-11 situation, uh, which is another story, that crow, not only did he take the clothespins off my bride's clothesline and all the clothes are laying on the ground, he took the clothespins apart. Now you try to take that, that spring on that clothesline, but that crow would take them apart, and there'd be three pieces. You'd have the spring and two pieces laying on the ground, right? David Rockefeller picks up the pieces and explains his penchant for collecting beetles, people, and art. It's hard to say, but I started collecting beetles, as I said, before I started people. <laughs> well, he won't be in here. He, he won't? won't be. Why not? Because he's dead. Ah, yeah, but we he's have out a, here. a morgue. Yeah. There's a morgue for the cons. <laughs> so you retire them. Well, we don't have room in here for all of them. Well, you know, David, he actually may be in there because Nancy right. Reagan is still alive. I, for one thing, I'm curious about things and people. I like to be a little systematic in my knowledge of things. Over in that 
This is Ronald Reagan. I started with, as I said, when I was in military intelligence during the war. Yes, and we try to actually keep up to date. Maybe I tend to be a collector. I also like paintings. <laughs> Michael Zimmer, an architect, collected sardines and the buildings in which they were smoked and processed, which was not really an activity in keeping with his family from old Vienna in Austria. And I found myself saying one day, as when I was baying up this beautiful string of golden fish, my mother rolling in her resting place saying, for this we sent the boy to Harvard? I said, well, why, what is the point of this all this education if you're gonna end up smoking fish? My grandfather probably wouldn't really appreciate what's happening here. He was a, apart from taking those endless walks that they took in Vienna, he was a person who sat at his desk and wrote, and uh, as did my father. I, I don't think the hands-on aspect of this life probably would seem pretty foreign and strange to them. My kind of theater here is probably pretty alien to uh, what he was doing at the Wiener Opa House, but uh, I like to think it's continuing in the family tradition of entertaining the masses. Uh. And I guess my souvenirs are more expensive than postage stamps or uh, postcards. But he also bought this extraordinary uh, Gothic Revival Palazzo in Genoa, which was then called the Castello Mackenzie, now called Castello Mackenzie Wolfson, which is a 60-room, towered, turreted, battlemented palazzo. It was sort of midway between the most fantastic Gothic Revival of William Burgess and uh, Walt, the fantasies of Walt Disney. If Castello Mackenzie hadn't existed, I think it, somebody would have had to have built it for Mickey. And if Mickey hadn't existed, Genoa would have lost one of its great treasures because I can't think there could have been any other single individual mad enough to take on the restoration of this crazy building. As we see with collector Mickey Wilson, we witness how an obsession with propaganda can lead to the founding of two museums on two continents. The first decision of the Nazi parliament was to publish Mein Kampf in Braille. And this is it. <laughs> And there's six, there's six volumes of it. And um, it's, it's amazing because it has even reproductions, not in this volume, 